Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alejandra Montante, if you're new here, and I am celebrating Fibromyalgia Awareness Month. This whole month of May, I will be posting fibro-related subjects, topics, workouts, whatever there is to you need to know about fibromyalgia. So this is going to be a longer video. Um, I will most probably break it up into parts because there is so much information pertaining to fibromyalgia from then to now. Alright guys, let's jump right into it. Fibromyalgia is a chronic condition of widespread pain and profound fatigue. Alright, that was a lot of information within one sentence. Let's break that down. But first, let's start with the word fibromyalgia. Fibro means fibrous tissues such as tendons and ligaments. My indicating muscles and algia meaning pain. Okay, let's move on to chronic condition. Is a human health condition with long lasting effects. Chronic, meaning long duration of, and condition, meaning an unhealthy state in biomedical terms. Next, widespread pain. This means pain above and below your waistline and on both sides of your body. And lastly, profound fatigue. The word profound also means debilitating and preventing them from doing the simplest things in everyday tasks. And fatigue means an overall feeling of tiredness or lack of energy. All right, now that that's out of the way, fibromyalgia affects about 10 million people in the United States that we know of. This used to be categorized as an autoimmune disorder symptom. From 1970 to 1990, scientists have argued whether to categorize it as a standalone disorder. However, scientists continue to argue that fibromyalgia is a delusion. That hypothesis stems from the fact that one of the triggers or causes of fibromyalgia has to do with traumatic psychological factors. Bear with me, people. For many years, the disorder was believed to be psychosomatic. In your head and often attributed to patients imaginations or even faking the illness there is cognitive therapy and and antidepressants being used to relieve patients with fibromyalgia however an underlining cause has not been found which continues this debate between physicians there is a rheumatology preliminary diagnosis diagnostic criteria, and measurement of symptom severity. American College of Rheumatology created a classification criteria in 1990, and this increased the recognition of this syndrome. What is used now is a widespread pain index and symptom severity sheet. Wolf et al., along with other researchers, compared the American College of Rheumatology to widespread pain index and symptom severity. There were faults in the American College Rheumatology criteria. Therefore, physicians use widespread pain index and the severity criteria. As research continued over the years, Wolf et al. and other researchers found significant clinical data that suggests the central nervous system alternates in individuals with fibromyalgia. However, in 2013, researchers were able to see some of the connections to peripheral factors. To some of the most recent research, the central nervous system, excitation, and inhibition is unbalanced. And what I mean by excitation and inhibition, excitation are cells that are more likely to fire while inhibition are cells that are less likely to fire. Due to the instability, this means our brain's electrical currents are very sensitive to outside factors such as weather change, such as any form of stressors, poking, walking, 
just daily activities that would cause any stressors. This might be the reason why we're so tired and feel very unbalanced as a whole, um, where we feel so fatigued, where we feel so exhausted, we're tired, and where we mimic flu-like symptoms as a collective um, form of symptoms, we feel unrefreshed, meaning when we wake up in the morning, we feel so stressed out, we feel exhausted as soon as we wake up, our hands, legs, tender. Um, we feel stiff in the morning, as somebody with arthritis would feel. Um, we have headaches ranging from your typical headache or a migraine, or all the way to a migraine. Our irritable, irritable bowel movements. Man, I can't say that. <laughs> we also have, <laughs> I'm going to expose myself here. Uh, we also have frequent uh, diarrhea or constipation, one spectrum to the next, um, sometimes accompanied by gas or nausea. I don't know how many times I thought <laughs> I was going insane until I was researching that part. <laughs> I thought it was just like something was wrong with me. Um, I mean... I didn't know that was actually a symptom of my fibromyalgia. We're learning together. And that's where I want to cut it for this video, just because I don't want to dive into the mental aspect of it yet. Our next topic, which would be mental health. Mental health has a great factor in fibromyalgia, any form of uh, depression, anxiety, um, symptoms of PTSD, bipolar disorder, any form of mental illness is going to cause any flare-ups. And flare-ups are um, when your nervous system just inflammates. And, and we're going we're gonna to see what is going on. And even if there's any research behind that. Okay, I'll, I'll expose myself with one. Memory fog. Yup. You saw those cuts. Yeah, you saw those, those skips. Editing on point, right? <laughs> um, I hope this video was very informative for a lot of you guys. Um, I hope it motivates anybody else to just comment below, um, tell your story, what you're going through right now, <clears throat> what you're going through right now. I would really love to hear your um, point of view of your own chronic illness. And like I keep on saying, I'm just talking about from a viewpoint of somebody who has fibromyalgia. I do not have any other form of disabilities. I mean, along with uh, fatigue, but you always have fatigue and fibro together. So I do not have, have any other chronic illnesses. And for that, I really want um, to be able to speak to a lot of my customers from HEB. Let's see if I can find them right now. Um, I haven't seen them because we are very, because those type of customers do have to be more kept at home. They are in the older range. Um, but I would really like to interview them, um, for the rest of my viewers rather than just having my point of view of this disability or this, this disorder. <laughs> But yeah, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for <sighs> making it all the way to the end. I really love you guys. I really appreciate your views. Um, please subscribe and like to see my journey on how I complete this whole month. I know the quality isn't the same as my other three videos, but my phone kind of broke. There's a whole story behind that. But <laughs> I'm recording from my computer now. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. 
keep on being awesome reach out if you need to you're not alone you're not alone on this journey it gets better and it gets worse and it gets better again don't give up i love you guys thank you